So welcome to video problem 15. Uh, here we are looking at a circular current loop configuration and we will use Biot-Savart's law to get the B field uh, on the axis uh, of this loop which is located in free space. So uh, this is our circular uh, conductor loop. Uh, it carries a current I which is positive uh, and it flows in the direction indicated. Uh, it has a radius equal to A and it's located in free space with this free space permeability equal to mu naught. We introduce these two coordinate systems, the rectangular X, Y, Z and the cylindrical R, Phi, Z coordinate systems so that we uh, uh, would like to determine the field on the axis of the loop which is along the Z axis here. So these are the observation uh, coordinates in this particular case. Uh, in this particular case, obviously, the field uh, will depend uh, rather in a rather complicated manner on observation, uh, observation uh, uh, coordinates. Uh, obviously, there is no current uh, enclosing path on which the tangential component of the B field is constant. Uh, that means that uh, it will be very difficult to apply Ampere's law to get the B field uh, for this particular uh, configuration. Instead, we will have to use uh, Biot-Savart's law, uh, which is shown here. This is our configuration again, and uh, here we can see Biot-Savart's law. Uh, in Biot-Savart's law, what is essential is uh, actually to recognize that the L element is uh, a vector uh, differential length on our uh, current configuration. Uh, R is the position vector of the observation point, R prime is the uh, position vector of the source point. Obviously, the DL element uh, will be here in the phi direction uh, and uh, the length of this arc is equal to the radius of the loop times a small increment in D phi. So this is the appropriate DL element and uh, also the position vector of the observation point. That's the vector from the origin and origin is at the center of the loop. So uh, in rectangular coordinates, it will point in Z direction and it will have magnitude Z, which is of course our observation uh, variable. The position vector to the source is the vector from the origin to our DL element and obviously uh, this is given by uh, this expression here. The difference vector goes from the source to the observation point. Uh, obviously uh, it is uh, given by the result here and you can easily form uh, the magnitude uh, of this vector to the power of 3 which enters into be a Savart's law. You can also easily determine the cross product between your DL element and your difference vector. So this is the DL element, this is the difference vector. So you have a contribution along R direction and also a contribution along Z direction. So the L cross with this element uh, will give uh, a contribution to the field DB, which will point in this direction. You can decompose this one into a Z component which is uh, proportional to that guy here and an R component which is proportional to that guy here. Now you realize that for this DL element located at this location here there is another uh, red DL element uh, at a diametrically uh, opposite location here which will give rise to this red DB element here which can also be decomposed in a Z direction and R direction. Now those two will cancel each other so you see that you will only have uh, a contribution in the Z direction. When you plug everything inside of your integral you will integrate in phi from 0 to 2 pi to cover the entire current distribution and this is the term which results from those terms over here and also taking into account the fact that we only have a contribution in Z direction. When you do the integral, you finally arrive at the final result uh, for the B field for this uh, circular uh, conductor of radius A, which carries the current I. Now, this is the field on the axis of our current loop. 
So we have essentially solved the problem uh, now and we would like you uh, to verify the above expression with regard to the units on both sides and also to figure out this field by first obtaining the vector magnetic potential A and taking the curl of this expression. Thank you very much for your attention.